Florida, home of the Flasher Studios, where the latest scientific developments are employed in the art of motion picture cartooning. Leading experts are gathered in production conference on the famous cartoon, Popeye the Sailor Man. Hundreds of drawings comprising the results of their deliberations are arranged upon surrounding walls. The pictures representing highlights in the story's development are shifted around as department heads plan or change details of production. Known as idea or key drawings, they are given to a group of artists called animators. The animators further develop the idea by making additional sketches, each one of which bears a slight change in picture alignment and figure contour in order to depict a degree of progressed action. As there are hundreds of pictures to be animated, the routine drawings in between the key pictures are filled in by other artists who are called in-betweeners. If you've ever flipped the pages of a pad of pictures drawn in sequence, you have no doubt observed how the action creates the illusion of motion. From the in-betweeners, the pencil drawings pass on to the cartoon inkers. The inkers trace the sketches on squares of celluloid. For short, they are called cells. They provide the characters with an invisible support and facilitate their arrangement with other figures as well as backgrounds. The ink drawings are then filled in with color. At the stockroom counter, painters or fillers in replenish their ever-dwindling color supplies. Great care must be exercised by the paint mixers. As a large group of painters are currently working with the same colors, the shades that all are using must match perfectly. Any variance in color will be noticeable on the screen. In filling in the outlines, the figures are reversed as the paint is applied, so the cells, when placed before the camera to be photographed, will present a smooth, glossy surface with no suggestion of paint or brush lines. Now the characters must be provided with a fitting environment. In this department, settings are designed and decorated by artists whose work is just as important and perhaps more complicated than figure animation. It also entails a similar degree of repetition. These artists supply landscapes, street scenes, buildings, exteriors and interiors, as well as furnishings. They must be adept at creating the illusions of wind-blown clouds, waving palm trees, rolling seas, moving vehicles and other effects that suggest activity. The character drawings are used to aid them in obtaining proper figure placement in relation to backgrounds. Also to aid in creating perspective and scene composition when the celluloids are assembled before the camera. For instance, Popeye's girlfriend, Olive Oil, must appear in normal relation to her patio doorway. And it would never do to let Popeye miss the rug when he bends his painted knee in ardent admiration. Many cells or pictures are required to complete this action. Now the thousands of celluloids bearing figures and backgrounds go into the long routine photographic process. All departments of the studio are supervised by Max Fleischer, veteran cartoonist. In bringing the spinach-inspired seagoing strongman to the screen, he is known as Popeye's Filmland Papa. One at a time, each drawing is placed in a holder and a single exposure is made on film. Upon this new apparatus, actual scenes are constructed to convey the idea of depth and to permit the movement of backgrounds. For instance, many drawings of this bird must be photographed, each one with the wings and other lines of body contour in slightly changed positions. Also, with each exposure, the background is moved to create the illusion of flight. The process must be repeated many times with all characters and accessories that simulate motion. When it is realized that hundreds of sheets of celluloid, each bearing characters, properties, or scenic effects, must be superimposed one over the other so that figures will pass and repass each other in photographic action, thousands of exposures become necessary to complete the entire motion picture. The production of film cartoons is long on routine and heavy with detail and requires considerable special equipment. The groups of pictures for each exposure are held in place by chromium register pins and the holder is adjusted to the camera by heavy iron arms that lock in mesh. Beginning with one sustained picture, note how this series of pictures flashed on the screen up to the rate of 24 per second speeds the action. The eye retains the image of one until another appears creating the illusion of motion pictures. Finally, the picture goes into the cutting room where the film is cut into scenes and edited. Voices are then recorded on the film and department heads put Popeye through a preview. Francis, what's that please be? Through popular science and out of the inkwell illusion becomes fantastic screen entertainment.